The time is 11 a.m., Friday, 27th of August, 2021. Good morning. The news headline, Innocent IPOB youth dying in security cells while Fulani terrorists are set free. The global family of indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, under the command and leadership of our great leader, Mazin Namdekanu, strongly condemns the incessant killings and unprovoked attacks and abduction of those suspected to be IPOB members and Eastern Security Network operatives in Ebony State by the wicked Nigeria security agents. This atrocity is being perpetrated with the connivance of the Ebony State governor, David Umai, and the infamous Ebubiagu security outfit. Their intention is to unleash terror on innocent citizens of Ebony State and possibly stop them from supporting the agitation for Biafra restoration. These agents of oppression supported by Governor Dave Umai have continued to kill IPOB members and innocent Biafrans, tagging them ESN operatives. Over 300 members of IPOB are currently languishing in jail and other detention facilities across Ebony State, and many have died in prison. Two days ago, three people died in prison because of torture from the security agents. Those who were confirmed dead inside the Ebony prison include Mazi Obina Hirebol, Onye Ame, Sydney, and others who were suffering from torture meted out to them by the Dave Umayyad backed Nigerian security agencies who derived joy in slaughtering innocent Biafrans. These oppressors must be held accountable because they committed no atrocities by defending their ancestral lands from the Futa Jalon invaders. We are therefore calling on Governor Dave Umayyad's associates and friends to caution him because we won't tolerate this barbarity any further. Ebony people should call Dave Umani to order before he turns Ebony into another slaughter ground like Imo State. It is only shameful that while the federal government with the support of Northern governors is busy freeing and rehabilitating captured Fulani terrorists and bandits, some treacherous Southeast governors are busy killing their own people who volunteer themselves to protect their homes from invaders who continuously slaughter our mother, wives, and sisters in the bushes and forests in our territory. Comrade Emma Powerful, Media and Publicity Secretary for IPOP. The Analysis The Media and Publicity Secretary for IPOP popularly known as Comrade Ima Powerful, has released a press statement warning uh, the governor of Ebony State, Governor Dave Umai, to stop the incessant killings of the Biafrans who are held in captives in the station, in the station and in the prison. He said that the Dave Umai backed up uh, government with the Nigerian security agencies and some Abu Biago security outfits are intentionally killing the Biafrans so as to unleash terror or innocent citizens of Ebony State who, in an attempt to possibly stop them from supporting the agitation for the Biafra restoration. He also said that these oppressors should be held accountable before they create another war just like the Imo State uh, slaughtering and killings. He also said that the, it, is, it, it is shameful that the, while the uh, federal government are busy supporting the uh, Fulani terrorists and bandits, rehabilitating and free, uh, freeing them, the treasurer's southeast governors have uh, resoluted to kill their own people who volunteer themselves to protect their homes from invaders who continuously slaughter their own people. He also outlisted some people that are uh, some Biafrans that are reported and confirmed dead inside the Ebony prison, who are Mazi Obina, Irebul, Unye Ami, and one Sydney, aside others who are still suffering in the prison.
This also associates to a time where the Bishop of Anglican Communion Diocese once said that uh, the military and the people who are often victims of terrorist attacks should not uh, should be rewarded rather than being villains. He accused the government and other state actors of encouraging kidnapping by paying ransom to kidnappers. He also raised alarm that Nigeria was gradually being turned to a killing field with myriads of forms of kidnapping, abduction, banditry, fatal clashes of headsmen, farmers, ritual killings, political assassinations, armed robbery, and murders. Where he accused President Muhammadu Buhari of abdicating his responsibility, lamenting that insecurity had reached the worst stage under his administration. Bishop Kukwonu charged the government to deal decisively with terrorists with the full extent of the law instead of encouraging criminal activities by granting amnesty to criminals, which the IPOB media secretary, Ima Powerful, was actually referring to. He said, Dubious amnesty to terrorists should stop. The so called repentant terrorists often return to kill. Instead, priority should be accorded to equipping, rewarding, and motivating the demoralized troops. The victims, rather than the villains of terrorism, require government assistance. He said, apart from military action, the government needs to apply the criminal justice system. Terrorist acts are crime, so criminals should be apprehended and prosecuted and not freed and given amnesty. He said, unlike other countries battling with terrorism, Nigeria is steady in punishing terrorists. Fighting terrorism needs a multifaceted approach to cut off their source of funding, disrupt their logistics and support networks, and decapitate the leadership at the United States' war on terror as proved. The cleric therefore advised Buhari to seek foreign help in fighting insecurity, saying no country on its own can defeat terrorism. And this is why the IPOB media secretary, Ima Powerful, has also called on the Ebony State people and the family and relatives of Governor Dave Umai to call him to order and ask him to stop the oppression and the killings of innocent Biafrans who have been tagged as ESN operatives. He said that the incessant killing and the attacks are even unprovoked and they are only clamoring for the sovereignty of the Biafra nation. He also made known that these oppressors must be held accountable because they committed no atrocity by defending their own ancestral lands from the Futa Jalion invaders.